in the green room, man. What's going down? What's going down, man? Get out their records, man. Big get out leg shit, the man. You know what I'm talking about? When he say get out their records, it, like the way he said it remind me of when the niggas uh, Drewski said it could have been and shit. Oh, man. Nah, nah. I know you for real with your Nah, shit. nah. Get out there, though. I mean, you know, can't, can't do nothing in life if you don't get out there. Facts, man. Facts. Man, I'm happy to have you in the green room, man. Uh, introducing you to my, my audience, man, for sure. Famo is definitely a rapper, you know. I see you kind of going like a little influencer kind of way, but you be, you know what I'm saying, going up, man. Trying to do a little something, man. Man, we're going to get into it, though. Where you from, though? Mm. I can't talk to smoke. I'm going to start dying. <laughs> it, but, ain't uh, no, it ain't no pressure. But I, uh, I was born in New York. I was born in the Bronx, but I moved to Houston when I was like a kid, so I'm a Houston nigga. I'm from, sure. Houston. I'm from A-Leaf, you know what I'm saying? From the dub. For but, sure, for sure. So, man, uh, what kind of style you feel like you coming with, especially coming from A-Leaf, or like even coming from the, being born in the Bronx and shit? I don't know, because I feel like A-Leaf is not like no part of the part of Houston. That's a fact. Like, we, 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 we different. We dress different. We were kind of ahead of everybody, I, I feel like, but... I wasn't a young nigga going to the north side and shit like that, so I don't know how it was in everybody else's hood, but I do know everybody used to come to A-Leaf for the hoes, so I would end up meeting people from everywhere. So if everybody leaving their hood to come to my hood, it was like, shit, we, we the ones. Nah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that's definitely a popular opinion from the people I've talked to, A-Leaf especially, but Southwest is like the fly side of town. Agreed? The shit show. <laughs> What's uh? Give me like a memory or some or experience that like coming up in A Leaf something that just sticks out in your head. <clears throat> um, a memory in A Leaf. What's what type of, like 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 <clears throat> just whatever comes to your mind like just that makes you think like damn nigga this A Leaf nigga. Funplex. Funplex. Okay. Funplex was great to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funplex was good, man. They used to ride bikes to that hoe before I had a car. Like, it was. Yeah. I made it a mission to get that $5 so I could go there to the skating rink on Friday and shit. No, man. Man, it's like, they don't got shit like that no more. Hell nah. It be, it be funny when I hear people trying to promote uh, skating rinks and shit like that. Because I'm like, niggas still do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I like, I like to live life. And a lot of the shit that people be doing, I don't feel like it'd be lit. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like, I don't know if it mind blowing sometimes. Nah, facts. But it be like some street shit too though, coming up in A Leaf too, huh? A lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think A Leaf was a one of the originators with the clicks. Mm. With the clicks. I'm not gonna say gang banging, but I'm saying one of the originators with the clicks. Like we had like a crazy run with that shit. Like yeah. some of them niggas still rep that shit. So I still rep my shit, you know what I'm saying? But I'll just be out here, yeah nigga. Bye clicks nigga. But I'd be out here like, you know. Thanks. Everybody always says Houston got that like click culture. And it's almost like it's bigger than gang culture. Yeah, cause some some bloods would ride with a crib nigga to beat you up if they in the same click. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then same thing on the other side. So I'd be going. Why do you think it is so clicked up in Houston like that? What is it about Houston that makes the I click mean, culture? I kind of feel like if a nigga if a nigga grew up, these niggas grew up together, and everybody just I don't know, everybody just becomes their own collective these days. Like, especially when I was growing up, everybody was becoming their own collective at the time. So niggas was just like, shit, we need a name for ourselves. And then every little hood that that's within the hood was doing it. So you'll have, at the time, fame. We had Swagger, you had the Lace Fam, you had FDAB, you had Cream Click. Everybody from wherever they was hanging at was making up their shit, you know what I'm saying? And stood on that. So, you know what I'm saying? Some of, and a lot of us, we only got three high schools in A-Leaf, so we all know each other. Thanks. But do you feel like even from them, because, you know, the cliques had a, like an era. You think like from that era in them days, you think it's still, culture-wise, it's still carrying on? You think it's, it's something that's just going to always be a part of Houston? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. I still think it's going on because I know young niggas right now that be trying to get some money and they, oh, we call ourselves free band this. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're EBK that, you know what I'm saying? Like these niggas all got their own little, I be seeing the young niggas do the, the young niggas shit I used to do and I be like, damn, that shit crazy. Them niggas, they don't even know what they finna get into. Yeah. So, okay, so with the clicks, you think it's more of like 
a popularity thing, just getting your name known? Is it a making money thing, or what is? What's the main thing with the clips? Popularity. The, I said the clips, the, the clicks. Yeah, popularity for sure. It, around it, the city. It, it, that's what I feel. Like. Everybody want to be. Everybody want to be noticed. Everybody want like when when I, I know when we started that shit. It was for the bitches. It was so the bitches would know who he is. Like shit, if my nigga right here and he a lit nigga and we're. And I'm hanging with him. The hoes don't know what I got going on, and they gonna want to fuck because I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So I, I looked at it like it was for popularity, but after a while, it became like a like a gang basically. Like yeah. niggas was getting beat up to get in certain cliques. Some niggas was we we fighting other cliques. You know what I'm saying? So shit. And once you done did some shit like that with your people, it's like, oh now nah, we riding about this shit now. Yeah, yeah. Some some niggas got partners that done died while they was ripping the cliques. So it's like I don't want to start. I'm not gonna stop ripping this because my nigga died ripping this, so I'm just gonna rock with my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like brotherhood shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what would you say from your perspective? Probably the most notable click name of all time. The, the one that stands above every click. Man. <laughs> uh, keeping the gangster. Keeping, yeah, I got to. I don't wanna. I don't even want to put nobody above me, about or above my shit. But if right, I not, had to, not including your clique. Yeah, but but if I had to choose a clique within my hood that was them niggas, it was Lace Fam. Lace Fam? For sure. Okay. But shit, yo, they they was them. They any was them. any like rappers came out of that clique or not? Nah, they was just holding down the street. I mean, dude, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Beijing be with them. Who? Oh, Young Daisy. Yeah, okay, Daisy okay. Them, Shout out to Young Daisy. Yeah, my nigga. But like a big rapper, I mean Daisy nah. big man. No, no, no. I'm talking. About, I'm saying like a rap. No, Daisy big for shit show. Yeah. But I'm talking about like a a, a nigga that was in the click. I mean, I, Maxo. He ain't come out of uh, out of Lace Fam, but he was a big rapper. Yeah, but that's sure. cream. He's cream. Yeah, he cream. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to see who came out of out of Lace Fam. I can't think, I mean, everybody was doing their thing, though. Everybody was like, some niggas was rapping and shit, but I can't think of, like, a big, big nigga, like, so you yeah. put Okay, so you put Lace Fam above Cream? Man. <laughs> <laughs> like, lit-wise at Jordan or LeBron type shit. Like, lit-wise at that time, yeah. Lace Fam was lit. Like, if you was a Lace Fam, then you was kind of one of them niggas in school. You was popular, for sure. You wasn't a weenie being a Lace Fam, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then... Yeah, it was just they was the cool niggas. Them and Swagger, I was in Swagger too. So it was like we was like the cool niggas in school. But you know, it's completely different when we grown now. Not nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Lace, some lace time niggas is having though. Can't take that for nobody. R.I.P. Max. You know what I'm saying? But like for shit show, a lot of them niggas that was popular in school ain't got shit going right now though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the like ones that, that do though. But yeah, for sure. So what about going into the music now? So like when you get into being an entertainer in Houston, coming from Houston, working with the music and brushing shoulders, does that click culture spill over into the music? If y'all have history, yeah. Mm. It affects? Yeah, yeah it does. It can if if y'all had beef when y'all was younger, you can't just come up to a nigga now and he having and be like, what's up, bro? Like, you know, I, you know, we knew each other in school and that old shit, you know, niggas are still going to be like, Nigga, I hated you for years. You know what I'm mean? saying? So it'd be like, oh, your partner killed my partner. Yeah. Like, we got a lot of that going on. So it'd be like, niggas just, if it happens, it happens. You know what I'm saying? I got partners that used to beef with each other, and then they ended up in jail, in prison, and they riding on some Houston shit. Now they cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit happens. Life be life, man. Right. But I don't know. Like, yeah, it kind of do affect it, though. Okay. All right. So, shit, I, I don't be, like, in the street like that, I be in the green room. You know what I'm saying? I ain't in the studios, I ain't in the club like that. But from you, it seems like you know you know what's going on. How do you feel like is the is like the upcoming rap scene in Houston? Is it is it beefed out because of that? Is it a lot of beef? What's it like, you know what I'm saying, coming from the grassroots, you know what I'm saying, as a Houston artist? Is it is it harder than what it seems? Is it a lot of competition? What is it like, the vibe? Um Coming up in the rap scene, niggas gonna fuck with you if they see other people fucking with you. Basically, it's like, it's a lot of, it's a, it's like popularity contest. A nigga ain't gonna share you if he ain't see his partner share you. Another nigga, like, I don't know, it's kind of like, 
man, it's pride. It's a lot of pride. So it'd be like, you got to look like something. You got to make a nigga think he going to benefit from fucking with you. That's how it go out here. That's how I look at it. Like, niggas not going, they not going to fuck with you dry if they don't see you, like, got having your own motion and shit. They'll only, they'll even only converse. Niggas ain't, niggas only want to follow you. If they don't see, like, why I'm following that nigga? He ain't got shit going on. He ain't doing better than me. You know what I'm saying? All this shit be like opportunist. Niggas, you can't even consider a rap nigga be like, yeah, nigga, fuck with me. We gonna lock in. That nigga's not your partner. You kind of gotta just be careful who you get in, who you engage with. Because once pe other people see you engaging with a certain nigga, like, whoever don't fuck with him won't fuck with you. Kind of get what I'm saying? Like, a favoritism, it, popular, like the popularity yeah. is really a big. Y Hell yeah. Like, okay. niggas, niggas will sleep on you just because you're hanging with that nigga and he a weenie. But he might, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it, it just, it should be weird. Like, okay. And you can't keep it too real with niggas out, out here. It'd be a lot of weird shit going on. Nigga, a nigga have animosity with you, you don't even know behind a bitch that you fucked and he see the hoe follow you or some weird shit. Like, all that shit going. Going to play out here, bro, with that shit. Yeah. Um, damn, I could go anyway with that. But yeah, I could. what is it that make niggas do shit like that? Why do you think niggas be in their feelings so much over females? Especially when a lot of them know it is what it is and everybody out here doing their thing. Man, these hoes be ready to eat, man. They for everybody, bro. So it kind of be like, this your chance right now, my boy. It's kind of how I look at it. But niggas be mad because I guess... You fuck they bitch. This the hoe I live with? And you really fuck Tim with the do-rag? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Nah, Tim. Like, so it's kind of like, you, it, it, it make you look, it, it like, and that you got to do the whole Carfax on hoes out here. Like, you kind of got to send it out to your trusted partners or the group message and see, like, how you know this hoe? What you know about this hoe? You know what I'm saying? Because you... Especially if you're a nigga with motion, you kind of got to be careful what hoe you let around you. So if if you realize the hoe that you care about fucked with a nigga that you look at, uh, it's kind of like, nah, I don't, I don't even like this nigga. You fuck that nigga. You know what I mean? Like, what, you, what, what did you even see in that hoe? Man, uh, I heard DJ Academics had came with a, a phrase one time called pussy real estate. It's like you can't share certain pussy real estate with certain type of people. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm at a certain level in my life and I'm living uptown, whatever, and I'm knowing that I'm sharing the pussy with whatever. A bum. Pussy. You believe in pussy real estate shit? Yeah, but it, that shit, you know, real estate a tricky game too. Very, very. So, it, and you got, you got to remember, the pussy <laughs> is, is emotional. Them hoes be doing shit sometimes without even thinking what come with that, with what they do. You know what I'm saying? We done invested into this real estate. That's why it's the investment. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the problem. Like, I done put my time, my money, my emotions into you now. So when you do, or if I find out shit, that's I think what that's what I think we making niggas trip though. For real. It be all that. Like, it don't even be the fact that you did what you did. It be like, bitch, I done did all this. And you still did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why sometimes when weird domestic shit happen, I don't dry judge the nigga off the rip. You know how they always make the nigga be the, the ah, that nigga. Oh, the nigga then. Because, bro, hoes, bro, be hoes. They be <laughs> Hoes be street meat. Like, bro, like, it's crazy. Like, and then you don't know what a nigga done been through. And you just gonna drive pile on, and then when a nigga snap, it just be like, yeah. told y'all that nigga, that nigga already said it. Cause usually, usually niggas warn, niggas will be like, man, it, bitch, I beat you up, or bitch, or whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? And then when the hoe keep doing whatever she did, or she not paying no mind, cause they, they, it's, it's like people think us men is robots. Right. They think men don't got emotions, like like we not human, like we just here to do this, and nigga, whatever happens happens, but you still gotta do this. It's like. So when a nigga can only take so much. Nah, for real. What would you say is probably maybe even dealing with somebody, a, a female that you knew, what's probably one of the most treacherous things you've seen a female do? You ain't got to put no name on it. Nah, nah, for sure, sure. We ain't doing that. <laughs> but, man, it's so much, my boy. 
I done, I done, I done been a side nigga, so I done did a lot of shit with bitches. Yeah. I done had a girl call me to get her some weed for her man, and she come out and suck my dick or got hit in the car. You know what I mean? I done had, I, done, I, bro, that club life, that night life, make you see so much, bro. I've seen girls, the nigga that went to get her a hookah, and the girl. Is in this nigga face or kissing this nigga, then the nigga come back and you know what I mean? I the girl say she gonna leave with her friends, really finna go meet uh Trent. You know what I mean? Like it's cold blooded. Uh, you know, I done I done seen it, bro. I done It's only gonna get worse. Facts. Yeah. That's why I'd rather a hoe let me know that she a hoe. That way I know if I wanna accept that or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, give me the choice. Let, yeah. let me let me let me be the one to say, alright, bro, like don't just, just don't just play with my mind and then show me who you are after the fact. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm investing. Now I want to be, now I want to beat you up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pro choice, man. Man, we gonna get back on a lot of that shit. You said a lot of good I shit. I wanna get back on that topic that we was talking about. Houston, coming up in Houston. Most people that I interview that are from Houston artists, they say that the Houston crowd is one of the hardest crowds to win over. You talked about like the favoritism, like within the circles of the music and the business, but what about like the fans? Do you, you agree or do you believe when you say the Houston crowd is the hardest fans to win over? Not really. Okay. I, I can't, not because it be times that I'll go perform somewhere and the fans will fuck with me. They'll talk to me after the show. They don't even know who I am, but just cause of how the shit sounded good or whatever, they like, hey nigga, like, where you, you from here? Like, you know what I'm saying? And then it don't be like, Niggas just being standoffish with me. Yeah. Like, but like I said, it'd be that opportunity shit. You know what I'm saying? So, just like a hoe, if I performed and I got on, got on my jury, she like, oh, I could fuck him and, you know what I'm saying? He a baller. Or, the, you know what I'm saying? It just depends. But I don't think it's hard to have no fans out here. Like, a lot of people be walking up to me and I talk. I, 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 have, I treat everybody equally. You know what I'm saying? I, what's up? How you doing, my boy? You know what I'm saying? Just, so nobody feel no type of way, cause yeah, them other them old rappers be on some what <laughs> on some shit. The old rappers, the, the old, old rappers. Houston rappers. Yeah, man. All right, we gotta talk about that. Though. <laughs> okay, because Houston has a very like prominent like OG rap community. I like I say probably one of the strongest in America. Like not gatekeepers, but you gotta get through the the imprint and the culture that they like the rap OGs lay down. Yeah. What you think? The, the, I think the the rappers, the OG rappers out here don't want to pass the torch. For real? For sure. Why do you think that is? Because, like, it'd be hard to get them to fuck with you if they don't know you. It'd be hard. I mean, even if they see you got momentum, they, they, they still will hold their nuts. And it'll, it'll be like, it don't even be the talent. It'll be like who you know out here. It's it don't even be the talent. Back to that popularity. For shit show. I'm too. telling you, bro. It all, everything revolves around that, bro. Everything revolves around that. You get followers by what the niggas talking about you, or you know what I'm saying. It's the pop. It's a. It's the contest. Yeah. That, that's. It's, it's like a life contest in that bit. Cause niggas not. Niggas not gonna fuck with you. Like, hey, my nigga, you know, look, I, uh, I ain't, I can't. I'm not gonna say no name of the OG rappers, but if I let, let's just hypothetically say I walked up on. Let's say SUC switch house. I I walk. Yeah. Just say it's anybody from those groups. Okay, if I walk. Not up, necessarily saying them, but that's a you know. Yeah. Saying. Okay. If I walked up on the Switch House, because a lot of the Switch House niggas are, are alive right now. You right. Know what I'm so if I walked up on one of them, Paul would shake my hand. I think some thugs would shake my hand. Them niggas shake my hand, but if I'm like, I'm trying to work with you, that's when they get on some. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't even, I ain't say nothing wrong. I want to work with you. I, I looked up to you when I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, what's up? What, what, what do I got to do? Then the nigga get on some, shit, you feel me? I didn't. And it be like, yeah. nigga, what, what's, the, what's the last good song you done did, big bro? Can I get on that? Like, what, what's, the, what's the last big song you did, right? And then 2006? Okay, so, all right. Now, if they are being that way, like, what do you think it is that makes them probably act like that? But then also, to what advantage do they gain from, from not 
working with young artists? Do you think there's something that they trying to gain from not working with young artists? Nah, they just don't want you to take their fans. Okay. I feel like niggas, it's a lot of famous people that got a lot of partners that's talented, but they won't share their partnership yeah. though. Okay, okay. Because, you know, once you're one of them niggas and you share a nigga that you fuck with shit, them people are going to be like, oh, bro posted them and that nigga hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they'd be like, they don't want you to take their shine. They don't be wanting, they trying to still keep whatever they got going, going, I guess. They don't want to open up the door for another nigga. Unless another nigga, hey, you should work with him because you're going to get this. Yeah. Okay, I feel you. It's very important to always keep the door revolving, though. But I yeah. hear what you're saying, though. Uh, now, go ahead. I don't overextend, though. I, I'll shoot my shot like, what's up, big bro? Okay, if we could, but I ain't going to drive, just keep, I ain't going to beg you now. Yeah, I feel you. That's basically it. I ain't gonna beg a nigga to work with me. This the motion gonna go regardless whether you're there or not. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, what about this though? Uh, a lot of the OG Houston rappers, a lot of them got a lot of money, right? And a lot of them like got money from like being independent, like coming up hard grind, and so much to the point that. <laughs> A lot of what Texas rappers did is like the blueprint for other rappers other way independently. <coughs> Do you think probably having so much money and going through the grind is a part of it too or not? Yeah, I guess when you get that, when you get to that certain level of fame, yeah, you can hold your nuts. Yeah. Because <laughs> you don't need shit. Nah, real shit. You know what I mean? So it'd be like, nigga, why would I work with you, nigga? I don't know you. I get it. Yeah. But it'd be like, this could help you too, my nigga. Yeah. You might be got hard labor going on even though you know nigga this this is a good look for you too real shit real shit let's talk let's go in on the music a little bit your newest song is called swing swing and it's a remake of a popular texas og yeah trade the truth trade the truth swing dope song you know what i'm saying got a visual out to it now numbers kind of going so what, so what is, is it? it that made you want to remake that classic that houston classic um swing is a hard, is my favorite song. The original Swang is my favorite song. With, and uh, with Trey, Trey Hop, yeah. yeah. Then when they add the pimp one. Like, I know every version of that song type shit, word for word. Like, that's my, that's my that shit. That is true. I, I, I knew that, but there's a lot of versions of that. Yeah, on my mama. Yeah. Even one with Mike Jones. Facts. You feel me? But like, uh, that was always my favorite song. And that's actually like the only CD I could think that I ever bought in my life. Mm. Ever. Restless. <laughs> restless. Trey Restless. That's what's up. Um, who, who had the best version of all the versions? Um, the original the hardest because that beat. Yeah. But the the hardest swing to me was the one that had everybody. Yeah. The, it, it even had Jim Jones. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, they ran that hell. Facts, facts. Yeah, they ran that hell. Facts. Okay, so... You run that, uh, would you ever, did you ever contact Trey? Or is it just something you just said, fuck it, I'm going to do it? I tried. <laughs> I but tried. they don't talk back. <laughs> <laughs> I hit him up. But I, can I, you know what I mean? But I ain't never hear from Big Bro. Nah, for sure. You know, you know Trey be trying to save the world. So, you know, he, it, it, I couldn't fit in the schedule. But, you know, I got to give him got to give him the kudos, though. You know, he the one introduced me to the song. Thanks. Thanks. So, um. When I look at that song also, I also see like a progression from the style of music that you've been making. Like that song, it's the newest song that's out, but it definitely solidifies to me like the newest song style. You kind of came more like street, like gang style when we first came out. Wrong or no? I feel like I was more player. I, really? Yeah. I feel more player now, like you on some more fly shit now. Oh, you talking about when I first started rapping? Yeah, when you first Hell yeah, yeah, I was more gangster for shit. Yeah. I was more street shit. Yeah, but now <laughs> with this song, I'm seeing, okay, the style is all the way into yeah. some fly shit. What made the change? Money. Money, okay. For shit, show. When I was broke, I was on some street shit. <laughs> I got some money. I don't want to be around that street shit. I want to be around the hoes and the good life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it's literally money. Nice. But the money grew. And now. That's what's up. So you've been fucking with the music, what, about seven, eight years? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. So the music bringing the bag like that? Hell nah. You just working up? Yeah, working, just, you know, 
making it happen. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But like I've got paid for features and shit before for shit show. Yeah. But like I ain't just getting crazy checks and shit. I got people checking for a nigga, but I ain't just getting checked out. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But you got other businesses you into and shit? Um, like nigga own properties. For real? So yeah, out of town and shit. Like, for sure. Got houses like in Massachusetts. Damn, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. That's what, you know what I'm saying? This on with the money. Nah, but so you like into the business and you into the music. What's like kind of a, like a goal, like shit? How you really trying, you trying to get more into the business? Have other artists, like what's, what's your game plan? Um, man? if, if, it, when, when, when any of the songs do what they supposed to and I get the fame that we looking for and we get, when we get the momentum we get, yeah. <clears throat> shit, hell yeah, I'll bring, I'm going to bring my niggas with me. For sure. For sure. The ones that I know are my real friends, the ones that actually checking for me and not trying to check my pockets. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, and niggas know who their real friends are. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it'd be like, no, for sure. Any more changes in the music you might be trying to bring forth in the future? Um, any more changes? I don't know. I mean, I just take that shit as it come. Yeah. I just, you know what I'm saying? I literally, and I don't even be writing before the studio. I go there and then I just say what I feel. And a lot of times in my songs, I talk facts. I ain't got no hat on. <laughs> I ain't got no hat on. How important is that for you, I guess? Um, it be, I only talk to facts because that be all I know. It be, I just speak on the shit that I be doing. I be, I might throw, like, I mean, nigga don't own no Rolls Royce, so I ain't talking about no Rolls Royce, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga just finally been in one and pressed the button to close the goddamn door. Yeah. But I ain't talk, I don't talk about shit like that. I talk about getting money. Fucking with the hoes, popping bottles. That's that that's the life I live right now. I'm traveling here and yeah. For sure. Okay, so man, let's talk about this wonderful Houston, Texas nightlife. Strip clubs, the club scene, everything. Let's let's talk about what let's it's talk really, about it. let's really talk like about it. in the Houston streets at night. What's uh some clubs that you kinda would say is popping right now? Space. Space? Space for shit show. Where is that? Um uh, it's downtown. Yeah. Yeah, that's like my number one. And then if anything else, camp. Okay. And playground. And then you want the white girls, go to Clay. You want the ratchets, go to Sakai. Cause they gonna cheek it up. <laughs> um, shit. Clay is on Main Street? I th yeah, it's like, they all right by each other. Yeah, oh. yeah, it's, it's on Main. It's right behind Playground. Okay, and the Literally. other one you said Sakai? Yeah, Sakai. It's right by it? Yeah, it's that whole, that, no, no, Sakai is like, damn, that's by Warehouse Live. Okay. It's kind of by Warehouse it's Live, still Sakai's downtown, over there. Man. Yeah, it's still downtown for shit show. Okay. Clay downtown, all that shit downtown. But they got the pool. That's why I'm saying, like, they be having the white folk over there. They gonna play that retro shit, and then Sakai gonna play that nigga shit. You know what I mean? For sure. So, so it's really like, uh, but doesn't clubs close kind of early now? They close at 2. 2? Yeah, they're too early. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then everybody go to the after hours. But I'm not an after hour nigga. You know what I'm saying? I used to do the strip clubs a lot, but yeah, like I just club and then I'm to the highs. Okay. So did something change about the strip club game or the scene? It ain't fun no more. Yeah. I go, I hit the strip club for the wings. I ain't trying to get a dance. You said that in the song. The show. <laughs> I, I'm not worried about them hoes shaking ass. I'm trying to see what the menu look like. You know what I'm saying? I might hook at that boy, but I'm trying to eat. The strippers don't impress you no more? Yeah, I done been eating the wing. I've been eating pasta and the whole bouncing ass. And I'm like, move. Damn, <laughs> like, you ain't even got, nigga can't eat. They say the food do be hitting though. The food be busting. But sometimes I wonder, because nigga be drunk. Nigga be drunk by the time you go into that strip. So I don't know if I just be starving and that shit just be hitting. Cause I can't say that I went to the strip club and I was sober. You know what I mean? Like I ain't go to the strip and was just not drinking. I'm in that whole Casamigo Don rep me. I need that. Yeah. So is this what a nightly thing? Every other night? How nah, I, I used to do it every day. I used to go out every day. Is every that day. addictive a little bit? Yeah, but that shit costs money. That's my next N question. Is yeah. How much money is that cost? Yeah, it, it costs like it, it be so many niggas that be going outside but they'll be with a nigga that's paying. 
You know what I'm saying? When you're the nigga that's paying, that shit take a toll. So a nigga don't be going out like that no more. Like, not every day. So how much one night will cost you? At one? least 15. 15. A band, a band, at least a band. Just at least out. a band. For, to go out. Yeah. Because yeah. section. Then you got to get three bottles or two or four bottles, whatever the case is. And then we not going out just niggas. So we got to we gotta get these hoes drunk. You know what I'm saying? Because... That's the whole purpose of this shit. These hoes coming out to shake that ass, and they ain't gonna shake that ass if they ain't drinking. So, <laughs> you feel me? Because I'm telling you, I done been out so many times, and it be times that we go there, and you know, before the bottles come, everybody just sits there like. <laughs> <laughs> the bitches ain't talking, they still. Soon as the sparklers come and they get the. Them hoes done took two shots, one. Hey, friend. Oh, 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 now the whole, now they thugging with their rounds, going to pound town. Yeah, you okay. feel me? So it'd be like, yeah. Okay, so, but when you're in the club, you always got to have a sex. You're not in the Every time. You're never in general population. I'm never, I'm <laughs> never dry. I'm never dry in that shit. I got to be in the, I got to stand on the couch or wherever I'm sitting up there. Yeah, for sure. So, okay, so what is it about the section? Because, like, the section is like, an infectious thing. Everybody's always talking about the club and the section. So, is it just about the look, the comfort? What is it? Do you get more pull when you're in the section? How's it go? Um, I mean, if you go into the club as a regular nigga and you ain't got no section, ain't nobody got a reason to talk to you. Mm. You ain't got shit. You ain't got. You ain't even got a place to sit, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? Look how that sounds. You come into the club and you ain't got a place for the hoe to sit. Like, you dry. So. I get this section because first off, I want my own space. I don't want to be around all these people. If the club is packed and it's just lit and all the sections packed in, whatever. But I want my own, my own little domain while I'm in this hole because I'm paying rent. <laughs> I'm paying rent in this club. I, I better be in this hole comfortably. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So, yeah, you got to have a section, though, bro. Hey, people look at that. You go through that general admission line. They don't give a fuck about you. You are, you are random. When you go to the section, they, oh, okay, come on, y'all. Let me get y'all to where y'all going. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what the girls look at. Security looking at. You know what I'm saying? Nah, facts. Okay, um, let's talk about section etiquette. Mm. You ever had to kick somebody out the section? Hell yeah. <laughs> I, bro, I don't play no games when it comes to that shit, bro. Like I said, we paying rent in this hoe. Yeah. First off, this hoe that's here. Bitch, you here for nothing. You ain't put in on nothing. So if you're going to come sit in my shit where we spending real money and you're going to have attitude or you dry don't want to drink, you dry don't want to dance, why the fuck is you here? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, don't bring no niggas to my shit. Bitch, if you're in our section, don't go to them other nigga section. If you go there, stay over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so much shit that go into section etiquette, bro. Like, then girls, like, they, girls would not know who the section is for and, and catch a, and, and be stingy with the hookah. Like, I go to the club, I'm buying hookah. This hookah be $60 sometimes, $40, $80, well, depending on where you go. And how you gonna feel if a random bitch that's hitting your hookah, you be like, hey, look at my mama, let me get that hookah from me. And she like, nigga. I just paid eighty dollars for this hookah, bitch. If you don't give me this motherfucker hookah, you know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, what? I be booting hoes off all the time though, all the time. So and hell that, yeah, that gets seen. People see that. Hell yeah. Does that turn you up though when you when they see you booting people out? I don't really care about bad, that shit. Is it a bad look? No, no, no. I mean, some people. If some people, if you're with the, the guy that's doing the kicking out, it's cool. But if you're the one getting kicked out. That's where people be getting offended and shit. Because a lot of people will go in the club and don't have a section, but be sitting in the section. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't like niggas that that are that already do this club shit. We not pulling up to the club early. We gonna pull up to the club while the club already clubbing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So some people would look at an empty section. That hoe been empty till twelve thirty, and they'll be like, man, I don't think nobody gonna come in that hoe. You know what I'm saying? And then when you go group pull up, these people don't got comfortable. They done bought hookah for. Dry being in this random section, yeah. and now you're like, hey, bro, y'all get the fuck up out of here, bro. Like, why y'all even do all that? You know what I'm saying? Then we talking to them crazy because we trying to come in this home and turn up for what we paid for, and now these ratchets over here tripping. Now we finna get, get into some shit because y'all niggas want to wanted to dry bum in this section. That sounds like a lot of politics and conflict, man. 
Uh, not it be fun though. It should be fun. The whole, like, the whole, yeah, the yeah, whole it should system. be fun overall. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But when that's why I don't go places where I don't where I don't know people or shit. Like, I don't like going to clubs with weird energy, weird vibes. I'm not going to the clubs where I feel like niggas in hooping shorts watching me. I'm not going <laughs> to the club like that. Like I, I don't even want to go to clubs where, where them type of niggas can come in. You know what I'm saying? I want to go where I feel comfy, where the bitches gonna feel comfy. You know what I'm saying? Where we're gonna ha get drunk and enjoy ourselves and make it home. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be the richest nigga in the club. I don't want to be the only one with a chain on. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. Yeah. I don't need the spotlight. For sure. So, okay, at any point when you're going, now do, do you, okay, you say you don't really go as much. Like you used to, right? Not like I used to, but but it is addictive, though. Hell yeah, just the life and going out. Hell and yeah, especially like if you got money and you haven't and you ain't really got shit to do, it'd be like I don't gotta work tomorrow. Yeah. And you hearing about all these hoes talking about they gonna go to this, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga, be like, hmm, I'm at home doing nothing. I'm playing Call of Duty. Yeah, for sure. Or I could be by them cheeks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's but, always a good place. Yes, yeah, sir. The club is great, especially when. You you know what I'm saying? You're coming here to do what you're supposed to do. That sh this should be great. For you sure. know. So how much does that you feel like boost your visibility and your social network for when you trying to finesse the entertainment game? I, it it does great. For sure? Hell yeah. It's gotten you like kinda more in the mix. Hell yeah. yeah. You like bro, when you spending money, fool, people look at that. When you popping your shit in them clubs, people are looking at that. People be wondering, like, bitches, niggas, people. They be like, who is that? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people would, like, look at you, and then you catch them looking, and I'm like, oh, what, you want to hit the bottle or something? And that's all she's been waiting on. Yeah. She just wanted a nigga to speak. Huh. And now she she might have all the partners, all her friends. Oh, y'all hoes, come here then. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's all, like, hell yeah, that shit boosts. And then, then the hoes have a good time. If you're not a weirdo and just trying to fuck them hoes or, you know, like, Two on them, they like, oh, this nigga cool too. Yeah. What's your gram? Not all them hoes follow me. Not all them hoes, friends, seen them turned up at the club and they like, oh, they with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? That nigga be lit. You know what I'm saying? He, he don't be on no weird shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas, they be on the prowl looking for hoes trying to get them drunk and do a lot. We just pull up and parlay in that hoe. We just be like, get out there. Get out there, man. Yeah. Don't cheek it up. Yeah. I don't get out there. <laughs> Man, okay, so with all this though, I know you see like how TikTok goes. I know you see like basically how the music game is going. Have you ever kind of played with the thought of making club music? Because really, you make like fly baller music. Yeah, me. I like dance. I songs. would, yeah, but I would make a, I would make a TikTok song yeah. if. I just be going with what I feel. Like when I see the beat, so if I hear it, I just be like, okay. And like that's why I like playing, cause I, actually I've seen bitches shake that ass. I've seen it. I be they don't know it's me. I didn't have the DJ. The DJs would be showing me love. Sometimes they'll spin that hoe, and I see the people bopping. I be seeing sometimes when they play at certain clubs, I see the old niggas already vibing, cause of dum 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 dum. Like they 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 getting the nostalgia from Trey, or it might be Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that's the original. Right, right. So it'd be like, shit, they get nostalgia and be like, damn, that hoe hard. It's just, and then, you know, nigga got on that hoe, so, you know what I'm saying? The, the, shit, the shit helped, though, for sure. Like, yeah, yeah. For sure? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. I was just curious, though. I ain't no dancing ass nigga, though. But I make <laughs> some shit for, for girls to shake that ass to, though. I for sure do that. Nah, for, for sure. sure. Like, if it presents itself, I'm going to hit that hoe. Yeah, yeah. Even more so, I see. One thing that's kind of popping with you now, from my perspective, is like your shit talking, your Instagram, almost like an influencer <clears throat> kind of like commentator. You commenting yeah. like on certain topics and issues. Yeah. I be. That shit going up. Yeah, though. for sure, for sure. Cause I be on some like, I'm a realist. Yeah. I talk about shit that niggas is really going through. I talk about some janky shit that bitches do. I talk about the filthy shit bitches do. Like, I've been through that shit. Like, so I'm speaking from what I've been through. And a lot of niggas, they don't talk about that shit. So when they hear another nigga that they can relate to talk about, they be like, bitch, you goddamn right. These hoes do be street meat. Or the bitches, you right, my nigga. These niggas do be bummed out. Whatever the case is, like, I talk about shit that, in general shit, like, we all been through this shit. So I just, you know, niggas like, I done been through life. 
and life done life on me. So I just be, my nigga don't be me. You know what I'm saying? Don't trust that hoe. It, why she got her phone flipped upside down? Y'all ain't even do nothing. Yeah, you don't see that suspect? She just walked in the club and six niggas hugged her. They ain't, her mama don't know them. You don't think that's us? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and for the niggas, we, we be doing some out of, off, off, out of line shit too, goddamn. Shit, niggas gone, like, look at, you don't think him, like, he ain't never took you to his house? You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever, you know. Bitch, you ain't never heard of him saying, I'm gonna take a shower. Let me call you back. There that nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm seeing it all. Man, when you see guys like Charleston White, Smackwater, and other people who just like make a lane just off of expressing themselves and talking that shit, do you ever feel like kind of sinking in on that lane? Or yeah, you, I could. Yeah. I could if I figured out the the wave. Like, if I had the editors, if I had all that cool shit, if I knew how to do it, hell yeah, I'd do that shit. Yeah. I could save niggas' lives. On my mama. It, because you can't give everybody too much game at once because they're not going to uh, absorb it all. But if I'm just dropping increments of shit that I've been through and I'm just like, yeah, nigga, don't do this because you're going to get burned. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of niggas won't believe it's going to rain until they get wet. Facts. So it'd be like, shit, if you've seen it before, all right, but I'm telling you and you're just getting it as it's going, you know what I'm saying? I just be waking up and I think about shit, literally, or a, a bitch just send me a text and I'm like, man, y'all ain't tired of it. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. Like, I just be coming off top with that shit. But a lot of people engage with me, though. I a lot it. of people talk to I me about it. it. People get on my bit. ass when I don't do it. Yeah. They'll be like, man, I hope somebody make you mad so you can talk about that shit. You know what I'm mean? saying? Whatever the case is. They don't even know. I, ain't, I don't even be mad. I just be smoking my morning blunt, and I just be thinking about shit. If I had a girlfriend, the bitch would be right there while I talk about bitches. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, that's how that shit be going. Real shit, though. If any chance happened, or let's say it were to happen that that lane could bring you more bread than the rap, would you ever switch? Hell yeah. So whatever, you yeah, that's yeah. the game, yeah. It, me, yeah. for me talking about my life and just talking shit, hell yeah. Fuck that rap, I don't even <laughs> shit. <laughs> hell nah. For shit, sure. they gotta put in so much money to get some money in rap. If I'm just goddamn sitting at home talking and smoking, that's, that sounds like heaven. That sounds beautiful. You feel me? How much you think somebody got to put in rap to even really consider being at that level where they could be like something? What's Man, the... I don't know. It ranges, bro, because it seems like some of these niggas be blowing up sometimes behind bullshit, they first song. Yeah. And then you got other niggas that, that are dedicated going to the studio all the time. Yeah. And like even me, I forget to put the music out. It, Cause I be going through life. I have a real life. You know what I'm saying? Like if I ain't doing what I'm doing, I can't pay for studio session. I can't. I can't. You know what I'm saying? I don't record myself. So shout out to A Red. But like, you know, I don't. Yeah, you gotta have some money though, bro. For sure. People ain't gonna want to listen to you if you don't look like somebody they'll listen to. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All the image, the videos, all this shit matter. That's why I be mind blown when I see stupid shit go viral. Now they're rich behind the accident. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes them accidents be having a little money behind them, though. Yeah. Where, where people don't be knowing. Yeah. Accidentally true had a little boost. Yeah. You ain't lying. <laughs> for real, though. For real. You ain't lying, bro. Yeah, for real. Uh, definitely it costs money, though. Nah, definitely. Now I'm about to kind of just run through a few topics. Uh, I'm going to get kind of ugly with these hoes, though. All right, so you got this, this catchphrase. It's called Get Out There. Break this down. You've been saying it the whole interview, but you say it with a different kind of emphasis and kind of twang to it. I can tell you mean something. You say you got Get Out There records too? Nah, it's not real. That's just like <laughs> between my niggas. Like, Get Out There records. Like, yeah, un unfuckwittable. Can't be fucked with. <laughs> but like, um, Get Out There. It's not out though. It's out. I T E, get at there. You <laughs> feel me? But <clears throat> basically, like you can't get in there if you don't get out there. You know what I'm saying? Like if a nigga looking for you, how he gonna find you if you inside? Kind of get what I'm saying? Like how a nigga gonna know who you is if you ain't out there? 
You feel me? Like, it's just, it's so many ways to get out there go, man. It's like a lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. You got to get out there. It you got to like, do that shit. Sound like some motivation type shit. It can be. <laughs> it can be. Like, when the bitch want to, oh, I'm about to go shake that ass, shake my ass on West Hammer right quick. I'm like, go on, get out there then. Motivate you to go do that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or if we get good news, hey, bitch, I just, I just made 22K. Get out there. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, you know, get out there, mean everything. A conversation finisher. Yeah. Hey, babe, um, I'm about to go goddamn watch this. Get out there. I ain't got nothing else to say. That bitch, go ahead. Go on home. Nah, no, I feel it, you know what I'm saying? I understand it completely. Yeah, man. So you big on slang, too? Yeah, man. You got I mean, some, some other kind of lingos? We, we, we speak Ebonics. Uh, <laughs> uh, goddamn... I mean, I say serve instead of fuck. Like, I'm going to serve that hoe. Or I, I'm going I'm to spank her. You know, I'm trying to spank y'all that. You know what I mean? Goddamn. I say head. But it's like, it's head ass without the ass. It's like, like, damn, like if somebody did some dumb shit, be like, head. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I like, but you kind of got to know, like, you just got to know what's going on and you get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. And then, you know, I say get out there for everything. Everything. Yeah, I just be like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Let's proceed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can you think of some slangs that are, like, unique to Houston? That Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But, like, not know what I'm saying. The norm. <laughs> or the, that 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 K N O M that's us that norm that norm <laughs> like norm tombot yeah. like be it like when I hear the the OGs saying it like yeah man I done came through and you know what I'm talking about like sometimes for us a nigga could say a nigga could say nothing and said a lot like it'll be like you ever had a combo where niggas be like <laughs> like if we was arguing with the hoe and you'd be like man I done did this and the hoe say some shit and. And you just be like, man, I ain't even, hell yeah. Like, like the, 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 oh man, I can't even explain it right now. I'm really high. It's all but good. But it's like, I know, like, it's just, this shit comes second nature, so I just be knowing. You know what I'm saying? The Houston, what we got? Dine, Pine, all them down, them down, down song, sounding shit. That's us, like, Dine, Pine, Ryan, Highs. House highs, <laughs> like you know what I'm mean? saying. Like we got all that shit. Like yeah, it's crazy how we, how we, how how the we so we really country, but we're not. We not like because people from like the East Coast, like when they when I when I tell them I'm in Houston, they think we we got horses. When nigga like me, I ain't never rode no goddamn horse. I don't see no horse, but I ain't riding no horse ever. You know what I'm saying? I'm a city nigga, but nah, you just think we down city, here. Yeah. Shit show. That's why I be like. Nigga, you be on horses, it'd be crazy to meet a cowboy. Like, I'd be like, damn, nigga, you, you a cowboy. Y'all niggas go to trail rides? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I heard them trail rides be lit, though. Them, them, them hoes, them, them, yeah, yeah. Man, on TikTok, they got them uh, songs, uh, people going to trail rides and all that shit. Them trail rides is like a lane now when you make a music. I mean, I, I mean, I remember I seen that one white boy that be doing the little covers of rap songs, but he be like country on them hoes, but he be running them hoes. Okay. But like, I ain't never got into that lane though. Like, I know some of the girls that be doing that shit though, but I don't, I ain't one of them. I don't know. I say, I stick to what I know. If I just happen to adapt to something new, then it happened. But I ain't just dry gonna go. I don't even got regular clothes to go wear in the field. You kind of get what I'm saying? Like, I ain't. When PV, when I used to be at PV and they used to have them field parties, I ain't, I ain't really do that shit. I like to be in something. I don't really want to be in outside hiding, mosquitoes biting you and shit. Like, you know, I dig it. It's your Minerva, you know. Yeah. 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 W. Melly, man. Guilty, innocent. What you think? I think, bro, out of there. <laughs> Get out bro, of there. Bro, out of there, bro. Bro, out of there. Like, if if he beat that, he a legend. But, you know, I don't wish jail on him, but, you know, bro, bro, my bro, out of there. You think so yeah, from I everything you see? I mean, shit. 
he 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 did some stupid shit. I don't but then you know they talking about that the nigga that he killed beat him up or something. So I don't know if that's them from that, you know what I'm saying? Like but um, a lot it's a lot of tricky stuff. It's a yeah. lot of tricky stuff with like the evidence. And yeah, the, and they talking about the mistrial. shit came from inside the car. But the, yeah, they denied the mistrial shit. I seen that. Yeah. So it's like so that's out the window. But it's just like bro going down. You think so? I think bro going down. Yeah. If 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 Melly get off, thug better come home. Mm. It's two different states, but yeah. I'm saying though, thug better. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. if if Melly get off, anything's possible. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's say Melly get off, right? Yeah, we get off. What he, happens to his music career after that? He that nigga. Like he, he that nigga for sure. He gonna no be the top, top, top. He gonna be. He could drop anything, and he gonna be that nigga. He can go paint his nails and put on a skirt. He gonna be that nigga. Oh God, man. You know, if I feel like if he do get off, he will definitely have to paint his nails. He, he gonna be that nigga though for shit show. <laughs> he already a weird nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like he, but he gonna be that nigga though. You smoked your partners, went to jail, didn't tell, got off, came home, gay. <laughs> Come on, bro. He don't be that nigga, bro. For shit show. That sounds so fucking uh, feasible, though. It sounds like, like it can happen. The I'm end of the story, you, bro, He gonna be that nigga, bro. <laughs> Man, uh, all right. What's the let's, before we get off of that? What's the percentages that you feel like he going down or he get off? Was he 50, 40? I'm like 60, 60, like 65, 35. He going down 65. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 35 would be like. That's a, nice, Insta- that's a lot of hope. Yeah, because Instagram keeps trying to make it seem like shit, is, new discoveries is happening or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it'd be like, okay, the nigga might get off. But then it's like, man, that nigga going down, bro. Yeah. He going down. Thanks. Man, I think it looked bad for him. I'm telling you, bro, look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Young Thug. All right, so Young Thug. If Melly get off, you say Young Thug got to come He home. has to. Okay. Also, uh, they recently hit uh, Rondo with the Rico. You That's know, they, just, they hitting everybody with Rico. It's crazy. They recently put uh, Casanova, got 15. Yeah, 15 years. What you think is going to happen with uh, YSL? Is somebody today who's YSL affiliated that was free just caught a murder charge today? Uh, what you think is going to happen with YSL? You think Young, young Thug can really come home? I hope he do, but um, I don't know, cause they they're itching to take somebody down, and since Thug is the top dog, I think he gonna have to take the fall. Right. But I I would love it if Bro came home, but I think that he's willing to take the fall since he has Gunna and Goddamn, what's little kid brother name? The, well, you know them niggas. Like he got the other wise the artist. Up, yeah. Kind of get what I'm saying? So I think he'll do it because they, they're in debt, indebted to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he's still going to make money. He's still going to be able to, goddamn, just like he did that new shit, the CD he just dropped, that the CD Thug just dropped. Like, everybody tapped in just because it was Thug, even if it wasn't his best work of art. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. We all tapped in because everybody got, everybody support Thug right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like. So if, if Thug get off, he's at the top two. He the GOAT. For sure. Let's say yeah. Thug. And Melly get off. Melly's gonna be bigger than Thug, you think? Hell nah. Okay. Because yeah. you, you already gave the scenario. I ain't gonna lie. Melly's just gonna be, yeah. Uh, he because, gonna be bigger than just rap, than rap. Yeah, because I feel Melly gonna be bigger because he a young nigga that smoked niggas. And rapped about it. Yeah, and, ra- and rapped about it. Yeah. And came home. You know what I'm saying? So everybody gonna be like, Melly really like that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is probably saying it right now. Melly like that, but that's why he gonna die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thug, if he be his shit, Thug was already like a super P cool guy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, back. Thug already he up regardless. He that nigga anyway. You know what I'm saying? For Melly, he been gone so goddamn long. So it's kind of like a lot of niggas he slick forget about the nigga. It's just that he he's still consistently being talked about. Every time some a new development happened, they post him on say cheese, and everybody's tapped into that. So you know what I'm saying? Thanks. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, let's say Young Thug beats the case, he comes home. Is Gunna still considered a snitch? If Young Thug beats his case and comes home, is Gunna still considered a snitch? I'm going to say this. I'm not sure because if Thug not stressing about him snitching, why are we? 
kind of get what I'm saying. You ever seen a nigga get called out to fight and then his partner mad, but it's like, I'm not going to ride for that shit if you don't want to ride for that shit. You kind of get what I'm saying? I, I can't. So it's kind of like, I don't really judge Gunner. I don't really care. You know what I mean? Like, that ain't got shit to do with me. But I be like, if Thug not mad, why are we mad? Yeah. It's just that niggas, as a collective, they ride with everything the internet be on. Like, niggas will say anything just to get seen. Niggas will make a YouTube video dry talking about Gunner and don't know what the fuck going on. But it's going to bring clout because that's what everybody talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know, drama sales. So, yeah. For sure, you still mm -hmm. fucking with Gunner? Yeah, yeah, that's CD hard. Bro, that's that's CD hard. hard. I ain't mean, I ain't even think about that boy. That whole hard. <laughs> Is it ever going to get to the point where the the I guess quote unquote culture will change the rules as far as considering uh, considering snitches? Man, we're among snitches every day. Yeah, that's who I remember when that Charleston nigga said that about yo yo big homie a snitch. <laughs> like it be real. It's a lot of <laughs> them niggas be niggas be this shit be happening, bro. You, we're amongst them all the time. Like, so yeah, I don't care. But but I within the rap shit, it seems like the niggas that go to jail, like six nine or gunner, and come home from that, it's lucrative. Yeah, man. And especially them niggas, you rapping and you making that money. Nigga, six nine said fuck rapping, went to the Mexicans. This nigga up. Yeah. Man. He quarter million shopping sprees on skeezers. Yeah, the Boom. game is a game. The, especially the mainstream game, I feel like it's gotten to a point where like hip hop and black culture has all been engulfed with pop culture. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not even exclusive no more. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, niggas can snitch, come home. And, oh, my mom and be and go crazy. Yeah. There's no rules. We're at a point in life where there's really no rules. Yeah. You, know? you can do what you want. The music. You can do what you want. You can, you can, bitches out here glorifying slimy niggas. I go in your house and I'm going to set your ass up. Like, bitches rap about shit like that. The content is crazy. That's insane. Yeah, yeah shit crazy. That's insane. So it'd be like the nigga ratting. Yeah, yeah. Man, shit, I just got a lot more I could talk about, but I think we're going to cut it right there, though, man. Nah, for sure, That's man. a good interview. I want to say it's an honor and privilege to have you in the green room, though. Real I appreciate shit. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you for letting me come, man. Man, hopefully this won't be the last time, for real. Nah, for shit, sure it won't, man. This nigga crazy, man. You be Get talking there, some crazy man. shit. Get out there, for real, man. Get out there. Last real, question, man. though, man. Do you have any questions for me? Hmm. <clears throat> uh, green room. <laughs> I'm going to say, whenever you, that's some head shit, that's some head shit, I was going to say some head shit. Um, a good question, hell nah, not yet, because I'm like, everything, anything I would think about would be like, some head shit. Shit, man, that's all good. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back. Nah, for sure, man. Yeah. Fame OD, y'all. Tap in, man. Fame, please. Six trace shit, man. Get out there. Real shit.